Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to music. Let's get on your feet. I know you know this first song. Let's warm up our voices. Hello, hello. Let me hear you. How are you? I'm good. I'm great. How about you? Let's sing it slow like a sloth. Hello, hello. I'm good, I'm great. How about you? Oh, I fell asleep there for a second. Hello, hello, let me hear it. How are you? I'm good, I'm great. How about you? Hello, hello, can you clap your hands? Hello, hello, can you stomp your feet? Can you stretch up high? Can you touch your toes? Can you turn around? Can you say hello? Hello, 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 sing with me, hello, hello. Hello, 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 can you make a scary face? Hello, hello, can you snap your fingers? Can you stretch up high? Can you touch your toes? Can you turn around? Can you turn around? Can you turn around? Can you turn around? Can you say hello? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Sing with me. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Now, I wonder if you've ever seen anything like this before. I'm going to spin my wheel of songs. Whatever it lands on, we're going to sing. I've got that joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got that joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart today. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the Christmas spirit in my heart, and I'm so happy. Ready to clap or shake. Ta ti ti ta 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 
かタティティタタタタタティティティティティティティティタタタティティティティティティティティティタタタタ I'm sure you remember from last week how we talked about this note, the quarter note, gets one beat, ta, and this note, the half note, gets two beats, like this, ta. Let's try this one. Ti ti ta ta ti ti ta ta. Ti ti ta ta ti ti ta ta. Now I'll let you try this one on your own. Go ahead. Did you guess? Ta ti ti ta ti 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 ta. Ta ti ti ta ti 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 ta. Now let's see if you remember all the notes of the scale. Do. Let's do it. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. How about faster? Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Repeat after me. Ta, ta, ta. Do, do, do. Ti 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 ta ta. Do 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 do. Ta ta ta. Do so do. Do so do. So 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 mi do. It's a little harder. So, 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 mi, do. One more time. So, 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 mi, do. How about this one? Do, mi, do, mi, do. Do, mi, do, mi, do. And let's do the whole scale. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Last week I challenged you to a scavenger hunt, and you did a really great job. What kind of sandwich does a little girl eat for lunch? This is from the story, if you ever want to bring a piano to the beach, don't. And she's eating an egg sandwich in that story. What type of song is Dormy Dormy? It's a lullaby. Finish the sentence, apple tree, apple tree, will your apple fall on me? I won't cry, I won't shout, if your apple knocks me out. What type of instrument deserving the frog play? He plays the violin. How many strings does a violin have? The violin has four strings. What do we call the long stick that's used to play a violin? That's called a bow. What are the names of the dinosaurs in We Are the Dinosaurs? Their names are Sasha and Floyd. What happy word do we sing many times in the Easter song, Jesus Christ is risen today? The word is Alleluia. What type of instrument is a shaker? The shaker is a rhythm instrument. Fill in the blank. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. It's me and sol. How many keys does a full-size piano have? That's 88 keys. When the bear is on stage for his big sold-out performance, that's from the story, The Bear and the Piano. What type of piano is he playing? The bear is playing a grand piano. Thank you to everyone who sent your answers in. Great job. Aiden, Alexander, and Ava Y from kindergarten. Great job. Natalie, Marco, Abigail, Valentina, Carly, Lucy, Alexis, 
and Alexandros from the first grade. Great job, Ella, Logan, Ryan, Reese, Dylan, Chloe, Marielle, Lillian, Evelina, and Adam from the second grade. Really nice work, everyone. You're going to want to stay tuned because we're about to hear a story that we heard in class earlier this year, and it's one of our favorites. And I'm sure you remember it. It's called Tallulah Plays the Tuba, and it has some great pictures in it. It's a really good story. But first, we should talk about this instrument, the tuba. You know that the tuba is a big brass instrument, and it makes a deep, low sound. You know that smaller instruments make a higher, softer sound. The tuba belongs to a family of instruments called the brass family. Brass family instruments include the trumpet, trombone, French horn, tuba, the bugle, and the cornet, just to name a few. Most brass instruments are made out of, you guessed it, brass. They're used in all sorts of music, making a brilliant and often loud sound. The main difference between brass instruments and other instruments is how the vibration to create the sound and notes is made. With the brass instrument, the vibration is caused by the lips of the musician. By pressing their lips up against the mouthpiece and blowing, a vibration is created. The rest of the horn helps to amplify the noise and create different notes. We'll start with one of the smaller instruments in the brass family, and that's the trumpet. The trumpet is a brass instrument with a cup-shaped mouthpiece and metal tube with a bell-shaped end. Three valves, or buttons, can be pressed to change the length of the tube and it changes the pitch of the instrument. A little bigger than that is the trombone. This is a brass instrument with a cut mouthpiece and a long metal tube. The trombone has a long slide which changes the length of the tube and changes the pitch of the instrument. A little bigger than that is the French horn. This is a brass instrument with a tube that's bent into a circle. The French horn has three valves or buttons that allow it to play many different notes. Now, the largest and lowest instrument is the tuba. It has a mouthpiece and a big bell-shaped opening to a tube that is wrapped around in an oval. Valves or buttons on the tube can be pressed to change the pitch of the instrument. Now we're going to hear from a very talented musician named Grant. He's a conductor of an orchestra, and he's going to show us all these different brass instruments, and we'll get to hear what they sound like. My name is Grant, and I'm the conductor of the orchestra. Let's meet the brass section, the tuba. The trombones. The trumpets. The horns. <laughs> Together, the brass section sounds like this. That is the brass section. Tallulah Plays the Tuba Written by Tiffany Stone Illustrated by Sandy Nichols 
Tallulah wants to play the tuba more than anything. So she joins the school band. Although she is the youngest, Tallulah can already read music. Plus, she has powerful lungs and strong muscles. But Tallulah is tiny. The tuba is not. Mr. Greenwood, the band leader, says, I'm sorry, Tallulah, but you are just too tiny to play the tuba. Tallulah stands on her chair. Now I'm not, she says. That's true, Tallulah, agrees Mr. Greenwood, but I think it would just be safer to sit down and try the piccolo instead. Tallulah sits down and tries the piccolo. It does not go oompa, oompa. The sound is much too small. At supper, Tallulah eats an extra serving of everything to help her grow. And afterwards at the park, she hangs from the monkey bars for an extra long time, first by her arms, then by her legs. It doesn't help. Tallulah doesn't get any taller. All she gets are blisters and a stomach ache. At home, Tallulah's mom says, just wait, Tallulah, you'll grow. But Tallulah can't wait. Oompa, oompa fills her head. She buzzes her lips just like she's playing. And presses pretend keys in the air. She knows all the notes. Every time she has band practice, Tallulah tries to convince Mr. Greenwood that she's not so tiny. She stacks up all the music books and climbs on top. That's very inventive, Tallulah, says Mr. Greenwood. But we need those. She uses a stepladder from the library and a pair of stilts from the gym. Tallulah tries everything she can think of. She even gets her friends to form a pyramid with her on top. She can finally reach the mouthpiece, but now there's nobody left in the band. Tallulah, says Mr. Greenwood, I'm sorry, but the tuba is just too big for you. I know, says Tallulah. She feels tears sneak into her eyes. The tuba is too big for her, and there's nothing she can do about it. Unless... Tallulah has an idea. The next time she has band practice, Tallulah gets there early and goes to work. Before Mr. Greenwood arrives, Tallulah talks to the rest of the band. Grab your music stands and instruments and follow me. When Mr. Greenwood walks in, the band room is empty. Outside, the air is filled with music. From flutes, clarinets, and saxophones, trumpets, and trombones, and a tuba. Tallulah, asks Mr. Greenwood. The music stops, and the other musicians step aside. I wasn't too tiny, says Tallulah. The tuba was too big, but I fixed that. Mr. Greenwood smiles. Then he lifts up his baton. Okay, everyone, are you ready to play? The whole band shouts, yes! But the biggest yes comes from the very back, from the tiniest musician of all. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank <laughs> you.